Hi everyone, I am Katie, the Crafty Blog Stalker, and today we are going to be making a Christmas ornament, a cute faux fur Christmas tree ornament. If you're new to my tutorial videos, subscribe and make sure to ring that bell. I've already got all the supplies that I need out in front of me. I have faux fur, star beads. These are the foam trees that we're going to be using. These come in a pack of six. They are, let's see, about four inches tall. Got those at Hobby Lobby. And then some gold wire, scissors, needle nose pliers, and then some paper and a pen. We're going to start with our styrofoam trees. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open those up. The first thing we're going to do with our styrofoam tree is create a template for us to use. So you can do this with any size styrofoam tree. Mine is a little bit uh, taller than four inches. And I'm going to lower this down from the corner, oh, maybe a half of an inch. And then I am just going to slowly roll it and bring my pen with it to create that template. We're going to go all the way to the end. Then I'm going to take my scissors. And then we're just going to see if it fits. So I'm going to line this up with the bottom of my styrofoam there. Now we're going to bring in our faux fur and we're going to open that up. And on the tree, we want all the hair to go down. So that means we need to cut right there at the top of our faux fur. We can't go from a corner, otherwise the fabric won't go the right way. So we're gonna go that way. Here we can scoot it to the side though to save a little bit. And I'm gonna take a Sharpie and I am just going to trace the little template that we made. We have our template traced on, so now we're gonna take a pair of scissors and we're gonna cut it. But before we cut it, we want to make sure that all of that hair from the faux fur is going down. And then when we do this part, we want to do the opposite. When we do the curve, we want to make sure that all the hair is combed the other way. So there is our little faux fur piece for our tree. And you can either leave it long like that or you can trim it. Let's take a look and see. I think I'm gonna trim it just a smidgen. Got hair everywhere, <laughs> that's okay. Give it just a little bit of a haircut. Okay, let's get this stuff out of the way. Now I'm gonna bring in my foam glue gun. Now this is not a regular hot glue gun. This hot glue is for foam. I keep it separate from my other glue guns so it works with styrofoam so it doesn't melt as badly. So that's the hot glue that we're going to be using. And we are ready to glue in place. So we're gonna put a good bead of glue along that edge. I'm 
and our rocket to make sure that that glue really gets in there. And there you can see it is adhered. So I'm going to add a little bit of more glue here through the middle. And I want it nice and tight. So I'm really going to pull on that faux fur as I turn it. <laughs> it's going to be so cute. Okay. Now we are to our meeting spot right there where the two ends of the faux fur will come together. I'm going to put some glue uh, right onto the styrofoam this time. And just meet those two ends together and press them into place. So there is our seam, but once you kind of brush the hair out a little bit, mess it up, our seam is much harder to see. Okay, so now we've still got our top here. I'm going to put a little bit more glue there at the top. And just really push that in. Next, we're going to bring in our gold wire. And I want a pretty long piece and I want it nice and straight. I'd say that's probably about 18 inches. I'm gonna cut it off. I want to go from the top because then I can make sure that the wire is perfectly centered on the top. It doesn't matter as much if it's perfectly centered from the bottom of the ornament. So we're gonna go from the top. And we're just gonna push that in. And not bend it. <laughs> so we can see it's starting to come through, so I'm going to grab the pliers and just pull it through. Now we've got the wire through our tree. It's not in the center, but that's okay. That's why we go from the top and not from the bottom. I'm going to come to the bottom and I'm going to fold this metal piece. I'm going to loop it. This is the bottom, so again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna loop it again. I'm gonna cut off that excess wire. Then I have this little finger protector for glue, and I'm just gonna push that into place. Now I'm gonna bring in my stars. And let's just do a white star. That's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna glue that star in place. So I'm gonna put some glue there at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna lightly press it into place. So there is our star. To create the loop at the top, we're going to use two pairs of jewelry pliers. I'm gonna grab it at the base of the star and using another set of pliers, I'm just gonna bend that 90 degrees like that. I'm gonna move my pliers the position And I'm gonna grab it and pull it over and pull it around. Okay, and then when I remove my pliers, I kind of have a loop there at the top. Okay, then I'm gonna hold this and I'm just gonna wrap. I'm gonna wrap that wire 
around the other wire, oh, maybe three or four times. I'm gonna wire cut as close to that as I can. Doesn't get cut off, so you can see that little piece right there. I'm just gonna kind of fold that into the other knot or into the other twist. And there is our loop for our ornament. We can grab an ornament hook and put that on there. And there is our Christmas tree ornament. Isn't that so cute? I absolutely love how this turned out with the faux fur. This would look great with white or really any color of faux fur. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. While you're here, subscribe and make sure to check me out at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.